Hi, this is Rich Weekly, Barthorpe Electric. This exercise, I want to show you how to configure a M340 processor uni using Unity. So I've opened Unity already. From this screen, I would just go File, New, and it brings up all the families, different processors that we can program in Unity. So I want the M340 family. I'm going to select the processor, uh, this one that has the Modbus plus the Ethernet port. Down here I can select the size backplane that I'm going to have if I know what that is. I can always change it later if I don't. Let's say in this case it's a six slot. And I would go ahead and say OK. So it's going to configure that, bring that processor up. If I want to look at that and uh, look at the memory of the processor, I select under PLC bus, double click on this rack. So it brings up my local bus, or my local drop, which is the drop that has the processor in it. With the M340 family, that's actually drop zero. Okay. If I wanted to change this back plane, if I, you know, if it I selected the six, 6 slot, but if I really needed the 8, if I double click on that 0, that's the point where I can really select any of the four back planes that are available with the M340. To look at the memory of the processor, this is what it would default to. 512, 1024, and 256 for the constant words. That's percent KW constant words, percent MW memory words, percent M512, which is the, the digital inputs and outputs. Okay. The system bits and the system words are going to default to 168. We don't change those. So I could change these to uh, other values if I wanted to move that memory around a little bit. My Selections here, if I want to start automatically, start in run mode when it comes up, uh, cold start only. Usually when I load the program or when this starts or reboots after a power cycle, I am going to want it to start automatically, so I'm going to say automatic and run. Topological and mixed topological or state RAM addressing. What that is, if I was converting an old, say we're converting an old compact program which was an old 984 uh, program we can uh, import those into unity and we are converting it uh, the old addresses we referred to as 0x 1x 3x and 4x addresses so you can see if I say I want to use state RAM and topological that mixed addressing and I have the 0x 1x 3x and 4x addressing available okay We'll say from scratch we're just going to do this topological. So if that's all I want to configure, that's enough to get a processor out of dim awareness. And dim awareness in a processor means uh, that's a processor right out of the box. doesn't have a configuration, and I would need to get a configuration on it in order to begin to program it. So this is really enough to do that. I'm going to go ahead and close this. It'll save those changes. Now you can see back in this structure view of the project browser or the project window, the way that I would get to that, if it wasn't up, I would go up to my uh, tools, project browser. So that's a handy one to remember, tools, project browser. You can see all these blue check marks along with these folders. That means this program has not been compiled yet. The other thing, if I look in the top left up here, there's it says no name. I haven't even given this a name yet. So now that I've selected the processor, I'm going to go ahead and give this a name. I'm going to say file, save, and let's just call this M340. Uh, test. just call it test one so that saved it here's our, our project name the test one now I'm going to go ahead and build this so under build rebuild all projects so it's compiling the code 
If it likes everything it sees, you'll see all those blue check marks will be gone. And this is enough here to that I could load that on the uh, processor and get it out of dim awareness. Okay. We do have some ports on this processor that we need to configure. And I'll uh, do that in another exercise. I'll show you how that is configured. But that's enough. Uh, just that basic M340 selection or configuration is enough. I could load this on that processor. As long as this firmware, it, uh, I was going to show you that. As long as the firmware on that processor is the 2.5, then I could load this on that processor and start programming with it. If it happened to be an older processor, uh, like it was a 2.4 or 2.3, I can actually change that selection here and back that up to an older firmware if I wanted to. Okay. Or I could upgrade the processor with a, with a newer firmware, but those need to match in order for me to load this on a processor. So, in other exercises, I'll show you how to configure this port uh, and show you how to start uh, programming, putting programming sections in. But this one is just to show you how to just get basically get started selecting a processor and uh, saving it, compiling it, and giving it a name.